we're with the casualties in Manchester. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And you just got off. You're the brand new singer. Yes. And you've only technically been with the band for about a week. This is show six yeah. of this tour. We did a very small impromptu. We had about a week notice to get things rolling in uh, Oklahoma. And then yeah. we just all flew here uh, to Germany together and had a couple practices. And ta-da. Here we are. And a long bus ride after a long plane ride. And then we played Rebellion, which is, if anyone knows, really fucking hectic. Yeah. So it was a lot, a lot on our plate. Uh, we had a blast. We saw like a bunch of our friends got uh, a little too drunk, but that's okay. You're allowed to get drunk, at, especially at Rebellion. Especially at Rebellion. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, and we're being asked how long it will take. It'll be, take about 10 minutes. <laughs> well, well. Everyone's always shaking their finger at us, right? You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't circle pit in England. <laughs> they don't here. circle pit here. You are not the first band to ask for a circle pit. I've but never really seen many. We, we asked with um, maybe a Latino thrill. <laughs> when, when I, when I asked right Rick way. Shakes and people just seemed to shake in a circle. Yeah. They kind of started last <laughs> night they did. It's like that scene from Beetlejuice when everyone's yeah. around uh, the table in the living room. York, Harry Belafonte. Yeah. In York, they circle pit. And yep. last night in Dublin, they did. Fuck there yeah, was, in Dublin. They there did. was a little bit here. Yep, and so we need to come back yes. and bring this with us. Teach the circle pit of yes. New York to the British. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. New York and Texican style. Yes. Texican, yeah. Yes. You're the odd one out, so to speak, because you are a Texan instead of a New Yorker like the rest of them. It's, yeah, that's true. That's true. Wouldn't have had it any other way. Yeah. yeah, we've been friends for almost 20 years, and um, this kind of all just made sense. Mm -hmm. if for something like this, which is a pretty big undertaking, to come together within a month or so's time and then be done well, because we're pretty happy with how, we're, how it's going, I think that's something that's made to be, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, Definitely. I mean, fate or love at first sight, but sometimes shit's just right. Yeah. And it yes. just goes, you know? Yeah. Honestly, tonight, if we didn't know that you were brand new to the band, it would seem like you'd been playing with them forever because you just were so relaxed with it on stage. Well, I think anybody that, that does this and gives a fuck that really cares thinks about it. So every day, Man, I've got my headphones on, I've got my notes, mm -hmm. and I go over it over because first and foremost, these are my friends, which are my family, and I have the utmost respect for them and the utmost respect for the name casualties. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things, if I was going to do this, I wasn't going to embarrass them, mm -hmm. the name, or yeah, or myself. So if I'm going to do this, let's fucking do this. The first couple of shows, you know, you're so nervous, I'm mixing up. Mm. lines but because these dudes care about you know making me feel comfortable mm -hmm. I feel comfortable I look out I have seen these like people in the crowd I've seen them at different shows I, when I came here before with crumb bums mm -hmm. I've seen them on tour in the United States so I just try to say fuck it let's I give a fuck I respect these motherfuckers I respect everybody out there mm -hmm. and it comes together and it's yeah. not like we held uh, holding an open you know uh an open call for singers yeah. we known this guy we toured together so we know what he does yeah. and he knows what we do because we've done it together not exactly on the same stage but in the same shows yeah. shit countless times right yeah. so it's like all right well we know what you do dave you know what we do let's put it all together and let's do it you know we've it's toured, not like yeah. we, we took someone from some you know from the middle of nowhere that we don't know that we have to make this whole new project out of we already know what's going on with each other he just slaughtered right in you you yeah. have yeah. slaughtered right in
you guys are getting ready to go back to the States soon, in about a week or so, I think. And you're heading out on a big tour with GBH. Yes. Fuck uh, yeah. <laughs> city baby, city baby, city baby. That's my rocks. <laughs> yeah. And we've, we've, again, we've all been friends, um, casualties, GBH, me, all of us. So, again, it's one of those things where it's going to just feel right, yeah. feel comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we jumped in. This is the, the first tour we're doing with Dave, and it's one of the longer. It's eight and a half weeks total, the tour, you know, from front to back. Yeah. And that's fucking, that's a cra- crash course in brain surgery right yeah. there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. It, was, it wasn't one of the things like, hey, do you want to do a couple shows? It was like, hey, do you want to do <laughs> no, Europe? Yeah, so yeah, do you want to go out for this long? You want to do 50 shows? Yeah. The next few months, do you want this to be your yeah. entire life? Yeah. And it's one of those things, again, like, be careful what you wish for this, you know, (laughs) what you've always wanted and now you got it. And and that's the main thing, too. Can it's not so much. Can you be on stage, but can you get up in the morning? Can you get in the van and do all of this? Not just the one hour. There's 23 other hours in the day that you have to get through that. We're all still this band. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And you have to keep doing it day after day. It's like Groundhog Day, just different venue. It is. It is. Um, and you guys were saying on stage night that you played Manchester 20 years ago. The band, the band played in Manchester in 1996, seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, neither of us were in the band, actually. Yeah. That, that was going to be my question. I didn't know quite how long you were in. So if it went back that bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> see you later, you cunts. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Hopefully, I'll see you on the road. We'll see you soon. Um, yeah, so we weren't we weren't here uh, in in '96. Uh, I joined uh, a few years after. Jake Jake and Meggers were in the band at the time. They were kind of walking around the place, going like, "Oh fuck, I remember that," and "Cool, remember this and that," uh, which was it's it's always cool to hear the stories and stuff. Um, but that was ages ago, you know. So I'm I'm glad that this place is still here, and some this of the people were still here. This place is here. Some of the people are still here, and the band is still going. Yes, and Hard. that's yeah, yeah. exactly. And that is an accomplishment in this day that you've kept going now for how many years has it been? 25, 20, 25. I knew it was over 20, but I'm, my dates. Yeah. I didn't do my... Yeah. That's one of those other things, real quick. A lot of people can play, but can you continuously get up every day? Can you get fucking smashed? And a lot of people say, oh, this is, this is easy. You've been doing this. It, it's not easy. We deal, you know, in our personal lives and with things going on, things go up and down and up and down. And the fucking point for like us is like always forward. As much as it gets in the way, yeah. these dudes could have just said, okay, we're done or, or whatever. No, this, no this, this is, this is going to continue on. <laughs> so this is where the spirit, the heart of punk comes from. I agree that it's just keeping going and keeping everything happening. And you guys do that. Yeah. And that's the hard part is sometimes it seems like the music is almost secondary, only in the way that I mean that us getting along is primary. You know, uh, of course, music is most important, but I mean, we can play with our eyes closed. Us getting along and working together. Okay, we got to get up on time. Let's not argue about Get in the van. Let's make some jokes. Everyone's got their game. And then everyone goes away for a little while. Headphones, books, whatever, whatever. And then we play. Yeah. Yeah. And then not argue and then make it happen. So it's all one thing but you know i've seen and we all know um bands that are amazing bands that aren't bands anymore and it has nothing to do with that they're an amazing band or that they're it has nothing to do that they couldn't get along and they they couldn't make it work together so that's why i say you know it's it's you know it's one of two very very important points and you and you all seem to really enjoy and play off of each yeah. other very yeah. well on stage there's no sense doing anything in your life that you don't love doing life's too short so fucking hey we do it <laughs> and I think that probably sums up the casualties right there. Yeah. yeah. Get out there, have fun, enjoy your life, do what you love doing. Exactly. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better. Yeah. Fucking A. <laughs> and on that note, I would like to thank you guys very much. I know you've thank got you. to get moving on to your next. Where are you going next? London. London, yeah. Lon- London town. Ending our UK leg with the big one. Yeah. You know, London Underworld. Also, I think the Olympics, there's some Olympics happening in London tomorrow, so it should be a big, giant shit show. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have fun parking. 
Yeah. Oh, gosh, yes. There's always fun parking in London, especially in Camden at the Underworld. Forget it. You will have trouble parking. We will. Yes. <laughs> There's no right, question. Guys. Take it easy. Thank you guys Thank you. very much again. Check us out with GBH. Yep. We'll be in the USA rocking and rolling. Bye-bye. <laughs>